Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you these gorgeous puzzles from the brand Minty Fizz Puzzles. So Minty Fizz is based in the US and it's a small family run business. And all of the beautiful designs originate from artwork created by Kelly, who's both the mum and creator of Minty Fizz Puzzles. And Kelly very kindly sent me these three super colorful, just beautiful designs to try out. So I'm really excited to test some of these out and see what Minty Fizz is all about. So let's take a closer look at the designs. So I believe there are about seven uh, Minty Fizz designs available at the moment, but I've got three of them here. So let's take a quick look. So the first one's a 500 piece one called Stained Windows. Uh, the image on the front, sort of the whole image, I mean, it does sort of wrap around the sides, but I believe the image on the back is the entire thing. So yeah, it's made up of these uh, very colorful, beautiful sections um, that are sort of gradiated and it's divided by these like thick white lines. So yeah, it really does kind of remind me of stained glass windows or stained glass panels. Yeah, it's really pretty. Um, and yeah, just love the sort of vibrant, rich colors. Definitely very like, reminds me of gemstones or treasure or jewels or something like that. It's really pretty. And I think I was reading that each, like that the artwork was sort of created using watercolors and it definitely kind of has that look to it, especially like all the little gradiated sections. Um, but yeah, overall it's just a really gorgeous design. I think this would look really stunning put together and I think it would be a lot of fun as well. And then next we have a 1000 piece puzzle and this one's called Prismatic Scales. And this one's quite a bit brighter than the other two. It's very poppy and cheery. And I mean, they're all really gorgeous and rainbow so i think if you are like me and you love rainbows and gradients i think any of these designs would appeal um, but yeah this one's i guess a lot more bright and in your face and uh, i love it it's gorgeous um, but yeah this one also the image on the front is not the like the whole image and it's sort of rough around the sides and you've got the uh, whole image on the back but yeah the colors are stunning and it sort of has like the name suggests little scale patterns going on and I think this might've been done originally with like uh, cut out bits of paper, like paper collage. It definitely has that sort of feel to it because it's got all the little shadows from each scale, but it also looks quite painterly as well. So yeah, but it's really pretty, kind of makes me think of some sort of magical rainbow dragon that I'm looking at. Um, but yeah, I think this would be a really fun one to do. Maybe tricky too, I'm not too sure, because you've got a lot of, you know, uh, colors, same colors, but in different sections. So it could be a bit, uh, challenging to put together but I think again like the 500 piece one it would look just stunning put together and then the last puzzle we've got here is a 1000 piece one as well it's called Gilded Berries and this one's actually a new release these other two are a little bit older uh, whereas recently I think there were three designs in total that came out and this is one of them so yeah really glad to be trying one of the newer release ones too so yeah this one again the uh, just only part of the image is on the front and the sides, but you've got the whole image on the back and it has all these beautiful uh, leaves in different colors and these gorgeous like deep red berries. And yeah, this one has very like jewel tones and it's very vibrant and rich as well. Um, yeah, and it's just really pretty and it looks like the like lines, uh, like the outline of the leaves and the lines, or I guess the veins of the leaves are sort of almost like goldy colored and yeah, really pretty. Um, I think this one I was reading was done with gouache paints. It almost looks a little bit watercolory though, like the sort of gradient in some of the leaves. But yeah, it's really beautiful, very stunning. And I think this would be a lovely one to do as well. So I've actually sort of already, uh, well, actually, as you're watching this, I've actually already filmed the puzzles that I decided to do. Um, so you might actually notice my hair looking a bit different here and there throughout the video. Um, and that's just because, yeah, I filmed this out of order, mainly because I was completely impatient and couldn't wait any longer and wanted to get stuck into the puzzles. So I decided to do that first before this bit. So there you go. Um, but to let you know, I decided to do this gorgeous Gilded Berries one. I figured why not showcase one of the newer designs and see what that's like. So you'll be seeing this one. And the other one I decided to do, as much as I really wanted to do this one as well, I didn't have time for all of them, but hopefully I'll get to try this one soon. Um, the other one you'll see in this video is this really cute little stained windows one. So in a sec, um, you'll see an unboxing and a closer look at the pieces, and then I'll be doing this puzzle and letting you know what I think about it, and then we'll get stuck into this one. So let's yeah take a closer look at these puzzles. 
Let's first take a look at the packaging and then we'll open it up and look at the pieces. So the box itself is a kind of fairly compact rectangle with kind of, I guess, chunky uh, sides. And it's very sturdy, you know, very sort of strong and yeah, feels really nice to handle, feels very high quality. Um, and yeah, it's kind of a nice smooth, but matte finish. Yeah, it's really nice. And it's, I mean, it's got the gorgeous artwork on it. So it would look beautiful displayed on your bookshelf or puzzle shelf. And even if you had the sides showing, that would look, you know, really nice as well. It's very pretty. And then on the front we have, uh, the only other info we have is the Minty Fizz Puzzles logo here on this black strip. And then the sides all just have more of the image. It sort of wraps around from the front to the sides. So all the sides just have the image except this one here, which has 1000 on this black strip, which sort of continues on from the logo. And then if we turn it over, um, I believe we do actually have the whole image here showing there. And we have lots of different information on the back here. So along the side here, we've got the website and the uh, Instagram name. And then we've got a sort of brown strip down here. And it says Minty Fizz Puzzles, like it's got the logo. Um, we've got the name of the puzzle, Gilded Berries. And it says 1000 piece puzzle. We've got a barcode here. And here we've got designed in the in USA, manufactured in China. And then we've got a little sort of vertical horizontal arrow here and the size in inches. I'll pop centimeters on the screen as well. So in inches, it's 27.5 inches by 20 inches, which from memory, that sounds about this sort of average size of a 1000 piece puzzle. So let's turn this over and uh, take the lid off. Cool. Um, so yeah, the lid is, uh, yep, just white on the inside. Pretty, pretty normal. Oh, okay, and then we've got our bag, plastic bag of pieces here. Um, oh, before we look in the inside, it looks like we've got sort of goldy, yellowy, brown around the edges, which I think sort of continues on from that brown strip on the back. Whoops, everything's falling out. Um, so since the bag's falling out, let's take it out. So, okay, so it's not just a plastic bag, but we do actually have a nice reusable Ziploc bag. So that's cool. Very happy with that. And just at a glance, the pieces look pretty exciting. They look very thick and beautiful. So excited to open those up very soon. Um, okay. And then we've got a couple other things here. We've got a little card here. So one side's okay. This side's got the Minty Fizz Puzzles logo and some little graphics. And then we've got a thank you for your purchase. Hi, I'm Kelly, the artist and designer behind Minty Fizz Puzzles. I hope you enjoy my puzzle. I'm social, message me on Instagram or join my email mailing list. If you love my puzzle, please leave a review. And then it's got a picture of Kelly. Hi Kelly. And then it's got Minty Fizz Puzzles, um, the website and the Instagram uh, name. So yeah, it's sort of a nice little inclusion. I think it sort of personalizes the brand a bit and you know, just uh, lets you know the face and name behind the brand. So yeah, I like that, it's nice. And then it looks like we've got a little sort of poster or reference picture here. I think, I think it goes this way. Um, yeah, so that's nice. Um, yeah, I think for this design, that's probably a reasonable size. It seems to be roughly about maybe A4. Um, and yeah, it's just white on the other side. So yeah, super happy to have that actually because that means that we can potentially use both the bottom and the top uh, lid of the box to put our pieces in. So that's handy. Um, yeah, so I think we might as well grab our pieces, um, open them up and take a closer look. I've poured the pieces out into the box and they are looking really pretty. Uh, they're just, yeah, the colors are beautiful. They just sort of have these lovely rich kind of jewel tones and yeah, just, just really pretty. And I've got my reference picture here and they definitely seem to you know, match that pretty well. The colors are looking, you know, just as vibrant and sort of, yeah, the, yeah, just look really good um, in comparison with the poster. So that's great. And yeah, even looking at the patterns on the pieces, they look very clear and crisp and nothing looks blurry. Yeah, looks fantastic. And looking at the pieces, I can tell that they are a grid cut and they have the sort of classic puzzle piece shape. So let's move this box over and pull some out to have a closer look at. Um, so we've got you know, one with four tabs here. Uh, there's a, a three tab one. Um, what else have we got? One with two tabs. Might 
just move these down a little bit so you can see them better. Uh, there's a single tab one. We've got another one with two tabs, like a different variation. And do we have one with no tabs? Is that what I'm looking for? Yes, okay. Um, I'm sure we do somewhere. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so there's like one with zero tabs or inverted, I guess. Yeah, so they look really nice. Um, they're quite a nice sort of size. They're not teeny tiny, they're not humongous. Yeah, and they just feel really nice to handle. Um, and yeah, just looking at them, I'm hoping that there won't be too many false fits because obviously we've got lots of different, um, you know, piece shapes, but even amongst the piece shapes, they seem to have a fair bit of variation. Like I guess if I pull out another single tab one, like comparing these two here, they're quite different. This one's very squat and this one's a bit taller and skinnier. So yeah, there's obviously variation amongst the different piece shapes. So that's good. So hopefully that means less false fits. So that's fantastic. Um, so I guess let's pick one of these, maybe this four tab one and I'll um, have a closer look at the sort of piece itself. So it's got lovely, simple sort of gray board, which is definitely my preference. Um, I'm not a big fan, as I've said many times before, of paper because I just find it tends to get damaged more easily. And I just sort of like the simplicity and yeah, I just like the gray board. I think it's just nice. And then the thickness, it is very thick and chunky, very uh, feels, feels very sturdy and strong. I mean, I think you can with enough force really bend any piece, but this one doesn't feel like it would bend too easily. Doesn't feel soft or flimsy. Yeah, really strong. And yeah, very, yeah, very thick. Um, yeah, very nice to handle. So yeah, I think these are gonna be really great to puzzle with. And then the top, the surface is really smooth. Um, it almost feels kind of a bit hard and has almost like a bit of a plasticky, like UV coating surface, I think. Um, but that being said though, it's not too shiny, like tiny weeny bit of sheen, but for the most part, it's very matte. And yeah, and even looking at the pieces in the box, they're not really picking up much shine at all, especially under my light, which does tend to create a bit of glare on puzzles I find. So yeah, I think these are looking, yeah, really nice, really nice and matte. So I think that's gonna be really nice to puzzle with as well. And as a puzzle dust, um, there's a few little specks here that are sort of, you know, I guess come out when I've poured them in, but for the most part, I'm not seeing heaps, like the pieces don't feel particularly dusty or anything. Um, I guess we'll find out as we puzzle. Um, yeah, and do I have anything else to say about these? Um, so far I haven't really seen any, I don't think at all, I don't think I've seen any damaged pieces. Everything looks very immaculate and yeah, it looks perfect. I haven't seen any bent pieces. Um, not that it's the end of the world if you you do find the odd one, it happens, you know, it's just what happens to puzzles. But yeah, so far they're looking beautiful. Um, and I think that's pretty much it with the pieces. So I thought we'll just have a quick chat about how I'm gonna approach this puzzle before we get into some puzzling. Um, so I feel like there's probably quite enough stuff going on or ver a variation of stuff going on around the edge. So I think it should be fairly easy to pop the border or edge together. I don't think we need to leave that till later at all. I think that should be easy enough. And then I, I guess in terms of like, where do we go from there? Well, I guess it's sort of, you know, there are lots of different colors going on. Um, and I guess the things that stand out to me are like, obviously the little berries. So, you know, I could always try and pull out pieces with the berries on. Of course, then we'll have little bunches everywhere. Um, or the other thing that really stands out to me are these sort of yellowy orange leaves. There aren't too many. There's like a little one up here, but there's sort of a smallish cluster here. So that could be another good place to sort of start or, um, yeah. And then, or even like maybe these hot pink sort of fuchsia leaves. Um, whereas like the purple, there's some here and there's some over here and there's lots of blue ones. Uh, but even the green actually, like it sort of just goes through the middle. So I think it would be interesting to see how easy it is to sort the colors. Like looking at the poster, it looks quite straightforward, but then I guess, I don't know, if I'm looking at a piece, then maybe will I be able to figure out where that goes? I guess that's like orange, but yeah. So it looks easy enough. Hopefully, I guess it will be. Um, 
but yeah, I'm really excited to put this together. So I think uh, we might as well get into some puzzling. I've done one session of puzzling and I'm really loving how this is coming together. I think the colors look just really stunning. Uh, like I said earlier, I just, the colors are sort of like these rich, vibrant jewel tones and yeah, they're just really beautiful. And I especially am loving the pinks and purples. So you can probably guess why. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's just looking beautiful. But that being said, it has definitely been very tricky and quite challenging. Um, I think I underestimated this puzzle a little bit. I thought, you know, oh, it doesn't look too hard. There's like nice big solid chunks of color. It should be easy. Haha, <laughs> it wasn't. So to get to this part, which I think would be about maybe a bit under halfway, I guess, it actually took me five hours and seven minutes, which to me feels like a really long time to get to this point. Um, I know quite a few other people like on Instagram and that have done this puzzle, but I have no idea how they found it. Um, admittedly, I was a little bit tired when sort of working on this. So I don't know if that contributed but I guess the main thing for me that I guess sort of I found difficult was that, so I guess when you look at the uh, poster, I sort of did mention like this might be the case earlier. Things look very, you know, easy to spot, clear, and you know, uh, easy to differentiate things, that sort of thing. But when you look at the individual pieces and the image is bigger on them, and so things start looking more abstract, it actually gets a lot harder to tell uh, like even colors apart like I decided to after the border pick out like hot pinks or like these fuchsias but they end up being quite difficult to tell apart from like orangey reds and even some of these what are clearly purple sections now when they were individual pieces looked quite pink so I end up pulling out lots of purple like even down here because there's like pinky bits on them 
Um, so yeah, and then it just, with all these little lines, like the pattern of the leaves, it was quite tricky trying to figure out where things went. So yeah, definitely a challenging design. Um, but in comparison to the pinks and purples, the greens actually both in the box, you know, stood out really easily, but uh, ended up being for some reason, just a lot quicker to put together than the sort of pinks and purples. So I don't know why, maybe it was just changing to a different color after spending so long on this part. Maybe that sort of just switched my brain into gear or something like that, I'm not too sure. But yeah, that was definitely a lot quicker and more straightforward than like these other sections. Um, so let's talk about the quality, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, I'm really impressed with the quality. I love the pieces. They're very like, you know, very thick and chunky. They feel really nice to hold and handle. They're easy to pick up. Um, and they just, yeah, fit really nicely into each other. It's just, yeah, a really comfortable fit. Um, it is a little bit more on the looser side, I would say. So uh, you can do, you can pick up sections, but you have to kind of be gentle. Like they don't, sometimes they do crumble a little bit. So I don't know, we'll see if this one will pick up. Okay, it does, but I can see like if I, yeah. So if you're gentle, I think you can pick up a lot of sections, but sometimes it's a little bit hit and miss. So it's not like, you know, I don't know if I would, hmm, I don't know if I could do a puzzle pickup with this actually. I'm not like, it's a bit, a bit hard to tell, but may, uh, maybe, maybe once it's all together, it might sort of be more secure. I'm not too sure, but yeah, so that's just something to note. I mean, apart from that, yeah, I think the pieces have a really nice fit. There haven't been any false fits either. So that's really impressive. Very happy with that. Especially when you've got a lot of pieces that look very similar down here. And I guess even in the greens, yeah, no false fits. Um, oh, the surface has been great. Like it's such a beautiful, smooth surface. It really feels like it should be shiny, but it's matte. It's, it kind of blows my mind a bit. I'm like, but how it feels, feels like it should be shiny. It's actually, uh, it, these pieces are completely different uh, to Magnolia puzzles, but they have a very kind of similar effect on the surface where they feel so smooth but they're actually very matte. So it's kind of similar to, like if you like that aspect of Magnolia, you would, I think, like this. And I definitely like it. I think it's been really great to puzzle with. There hasn't been any glare or sheen. So yeah, really happy about that. Even here, like with extra lighting for filming, it's, yeah, not, not much sheen or glare at all. So very impressed with that as well. Um, there has been, like there is puzzle dust, um, not heaps, just a bit, um, but it hasn't really bothered me. It definitely doesn't seem to stick to the pieces too much just ends up on the board a bit, but that's, you know, you can clean that. It's pretty easy. Um, and then I guess the only other thing is, yeah, there's been no damage pieces either that I've come across. Um, yeah, everything's maybe because the pieces are so thick and sturdy, they're less likely to get damaged. I'm not too sure, but they've all been in really like pretty much pristine condition. So yeah, I haven't come across anything damaged yet. So also very impress impressive. Um, yeah. So yeah, overall loving how it's coming together. Love the colors and their whole like design and really enjoying the quality. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to like doing the second half of this and getting it done. Cause I think it's just going to be good fun putting it together. Speaking of which I'm not exactly sure what bit to do next. Um, I mean, I guess the main parts we've got left are sort of lots of blue leaves, which are very pretty and lots of these little berry clusters and these sort of yellowy orange leaves. And as tempting as it is, to do the orangey yellow leaves, like they look easy enough, like they stand out here. When you look in the box, actually, uh, it's hard to actually tell a lot of them apart from the berries because the berries have like bits of yellow on them as well. And the leaves are sort of got orangey ready bits and so do the berries. So that might actually be quite hard to distinguish them. Um, but, you know, I just sort of, I think I'm gonna play it by ESC what works, maybe I will try and just get all the blue done. I mean, either way, there's still quite a bit of both. So I suppose it doesn't really matter. I just pick whichever one I feel like it, I guess. Um, so I think we might as well, uh, yeah, finish this off and I will see you shortly.
I finished the puzzle and I think it looks absolutely stunning. I just love the rich, vibrant colors. Uh, I think I said before they look like pretty like jewels or gems. Yeah, they're just gorgeous, especially these, I think my favorites are the pinky purples and even some of these teals, I just love them. They're really, really pretty. And yeah, the illustration is just such a beautiful image as well. So yeah, really happy with how that's turned out and the end result. Um, it did take me a bit of time to get here though. So the second session of puzzling, I actually had to do in kind of two, two sessions because it was taking a bit of time and I needed a break. Um, so yeah, the second session or second lot of puzzling took six hours and 30 minutes and maybe a smidgen longer, like 6.35, something like that. Um, so all up that means, uh, including sorting and session one and two, ended up taking, I think it was 11 and a half hours and a smidgen more. So yeah, definitely a uh, fairly time consuming puzzle, uh, longer than I would usually spend on sort of an average 1000 piece puzzle, I guess. But I, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a trickier puzzle image to put together, you know, a little bit more on the difficult side, but uh, not at all frustrating. And I think it, for me, I'm happy with how it's turned out. I love the end result. It's definitely worthwhile and um, yeah, I really, even though it was time consuming, I really had fun putting it together. I was like, yeah, it was satisfying seeing the different colored sections come together. And yeah, just, I really enjoyed it. So uh, the quality, I pretty much agree with everything I said before. The pieces have a really nice fit. I actually didn't have any false fits at all, which is I think really impressive. So yeah, really pleased with that. Um, the piece fit is a little bit on the looser side. Uh, I don't know if we could do a puzzle picker. Oh, okay. So even as I pick this up, it is crumbling a little bit. So I think if you're feeling very brave, maybe you could attempt a pickup. I am not feeling that brave. Um, but yeah, I think regardless of puzzle pickups or not, you can still pick up sections a lot of the time if you're very gentle. So, you know, um, and what else? Oh, I mean, I love the chunkiness of the pieces. I think they're really nice to handle. And I love the surface of them. I think it, they just feel so nice. Like it's, you know, very satisfying to run your hands over them. Feels very smooth, but also very matte. So I didn't have any issues with glare or sheen. So fantastic. Um, and there weren't any damaged pieces either. So yeah, also very impressed. Um, yeah, I think the only thing is there is some puzzle dust, but it didn't bother me. Like if I lift this up, yeah, there's definitely like a little bit of puzzle dust. It's not heaps, it's just a little bit. Um, and I think there was a bit left in the box, but it wasn't excessive or anything like that. And like I said, didn't really bother me. So I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this. I just really enjoyed it. Um, you know, if you're looking for a beautiful puzzle to do and you don't mind something that's a little bit more tricky um, or a little bit more challenging, you're looking for a bit of a challenge. I think this one is a really nice one to put together. So now that we've finished the 1000 piece puzzle, I think it's time to take a look at the 500 piece and start puzzling that one as well. The box for the 500 piece puzzle is a different size. It's smaller than the 1000 piece and it's actually a really cute little size. Like it just feels very cute and like kind of mini. Um, and just like the 1000 piece, it's also made from the same sort of like, I guess, uh, cardboard. It's sort of like very smooth um, and has like quite a, you know, sturdy feel to it. Um, you know, also very aesthetically pleasing, you know, would look very nice on a shelf or something, especially if, yeah, if you're just showing the sides, it's going to look very eye catching. Um, but yeah, just like the 1000 piece ones, uh, the front and the sides have the artwork on them. And then we've got here the Minty Fizz Puzzles logo on a little sort of darkened strip. And that strip carries around to this side where it says 500. Um, and that's the only sort of text or images apart from the uh, puzzle image that we have on the front and sides. And then if we flip it over to the back, we have what I believe is the whole image shown on the back. And then we've got a bit of information. So we've got the Minty Fizz uh, website here and the Instagram account name here. And then we've got the Minty Fizz Puzzles logo again. Uh, we've got uh, this little logo, the FSC uh, logo. We've got stained windows, the name of the puzzle and 500 piece puzzle. And we've got designed in USA, manufactured in China. We've got a barcode. And again, we've got little horizontal and vertical arrows with the size, which is 20.5 inches by 15 inches. I'll pop centimeters on the screen. Uh, so let's go open it up. 
And then I'm guessing, yep, it's just white on the inside. So same as the other one. It's actually, uh, oh, no, I was gonna say it's deeper than the other one, but it's not. It, I think glancing at the other one on my shelf over there, which you can't see, um, it looks to be about the same sort of, I guess, thick, like depth. It just, I guess, feels bigger on a smaller box. That's the only thing. Um, but yeah, really cute. And then, uh, okay, so the uh, sides of this part of the bottom of the box are this sort of lovely purpley plum color. So yeah, no text or anything. And then we've got a bag of our pieces. And oh, that's cool. This one is also a resealable Ziploc bag. So that is very cool. And then what have we got in here? We've got, I think this is the same sort of thank you card as the other puzzle with her logo and the little piece uh, pictures. And then, yeah, thank you for your purchase. Hope you enjoy your puzzle. We're a social message us on Instagram or join our email mailing list. If you loved our puzzle, please leave a review. And then has the website and the Instagram and picture of Kelly again. So yeah, it's nice. And I think we've just got a little poster. Can I get it out? That is the question. <laughs> there we go. And then, yeah, that's it. So, and our little reference picture, a poster. Yeah, I think, I mean, for this design, I think that's plenty big. I can't remember, is this small, the same size? I think it's a bit smaller than the other one. I think it must be if it, I'm not sure, I can't remember. But either way, um, yeah, get a nice little reference picture, which is great, which means we can, uh, again, use the top and bottom of the box to put the pieces in. Speaking of which, let's open up our bag of pieces here and have a closer look. So I've opened up the uh, pieces and they're looking really nice. Uh, there wasn't really much dust in the bag, so I guess we'll just have to see when I'm puzzling if there's much dust at all. Um, but yeah, the colors are beautiful. Again, vibrant sort of rich jewel tones, just like the other puzzle. Uh, that seems to be a bit of a theme in the Minty Fizz puzzles, these beautiful, just colorful, yeah, very jewel-like uh, pieces. So really pretty. And yeah, kind of looking at them compared to like the colors on the poster, they seem like they match pretty well, nice and vibrant, so that's great. Um, and there's not really much pattern. I mean, there's like sort of more texture rather than pattern, but the sort of white strips look very crisp and clear, so that's good as well. Um, so I can see a couple of differences compared to the 1000 pieces um, in the other puzzle. So let's slide this over and just have a look. So the first big difference is that there only seems to be uh, variations on two tabs. I haven't seen any three tabs or four tabs or anything like that. Um, so we've got yeah a whole different bunch of two tabs. Um, I don't know how that's going to go with false fits, uh, but even though they're all two tabs, there's quite a variety amongst them. They all look quite different. So hopefully that will help a bit. Plus it's only 500 pieces, so it's probably not going to be too bad even if there is a false fit or two. So not too worried. And then the other big difference is the size. So I've got here a piece from the 1000 piece puzzle. And as you can probably tell, the uh, scale of these ones here is a fair bit bigger than the 1000 piece. That's pretty common. A lot of brands do tend to make their 500 piece puzzles sort of have bigger piece shapes. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why, just um, maybe it's to do with the manufacturer or it's just a preferred thing to do. Um, but yeah, I, I don't mind it at all. I quite like it. They seem just as nice to handle. Pro actually not bad if you uh, do prefer your puzzle pieces a bit more on the larger side. side. This is quite nice. So yeah, I think that's yeah, it's nice. Um, so let's also just compare the thickness. So if we look at these, yeah, actually they seem very similar. Yeah, pretty much I'd say the same thicknesses of each other, which is kind of cool. It's nice. Um, yeah. So I think, oh, let me pop this one aside and let's, I guess, pop these away and just look at this single one and just generally have a look at it. It's pretty much the same as uh, the 1000 piece. We've got the lovely gray board, the thickness, as you saw, it's the same as the other one. So nice, quite nice and thick and chunky. And then the top surface is exactly the same as well. It's, yeah, this lovely, very smooth, almost like kind of hard and a little bit plasticky, um, yeah, surface and fairly matte. 
Um, I think, oh, let me compare. Here is, here's the uh, piece I prepared earlier. Yeah, they look, yeah, they look pretty much the same on top, I think. So very little sheen um, and fairly matte. And yeah, really nice and smooth. So I think these are gonna be really nice to puzzle with, just like the 1000 piece one. So um, yeah, I'm excited to put it together. So let's quickly look at the poster and talk about how I'm gonna put this together and then we will get into some puzzling. Let's quickly talk strategy, even though this is only a 500 piece, I don't think we need to overthink it too much. Um, looks like we've got lots of color and different things happening. So I think we can easily put the border together first. And then I guess since we've got different sort of colored sections, although they are a little bit gradiated um, with more than one color in each one, I think we can still f to some degree uh, sort the pieces into color groups. So obviously we can pick out a lot of the these grass greens here. Um, but I don't know how easy it'll be to tell apart the teals. I guess actually I'm looking at the box, which you can't see, and I can actually see that the teal looks quite different to the green. So I think actually it'll be pretty easy. And yeah, and then of course, separate your yellows and your pinky purples. And I guess there's a tiny bit of blue here. So yeah, I think it should be fairly straightforward. Uh, cross my fingers, it won't <laughs> take so long like the last one. Um, but yeah, I think, it's going to be fun to do and yeah, I'm excited to do it. So I'm going to start putting it together and I'll see you in a bit. I finished the 500 piece puzzle and I think it also looks really gorgeous. Uh, it also has these beautiful, like vibrant, rich kind of jewel tones, just like the 1000 piece one. Yeah, it's really pretty. And I love these sort of uh, like sectioned gradients. Yeah, really gorgeous and definitely my kind of puzzle and just love the way it's turned out. Uh, it was definitely a lot quicker and easier to get to this point as well. So this one only took me two hours and about five minutes, I think it was. So yeah, pretty reasonable, I think, for a 500 piece puzzle. Definitely something you could like knock out in an afternoon or on the weekend. So yeah, and it was just really fun and satisfying to put together. Um, so with the quality, it's pretty similar to the 1000 piece. Um, the pieces, of course, are a little bit bigger um, in size. But yeah, the fit's nice. Um, there weren't any false fits either, so also very impressed with that, um, especially because you do have like a lot of, you know, similar colored sections and stuff. So nice that, you know, everything sort of goes where it's supposed to. Uh, the piece fit is a bit on the looser side, just like the other puzzle. So I don't know if you could do a puzzle pickup. Uh, maybe this looks like it might hold together a little bit more securely than the 1000 piece, but I think you'd still have to be a bit uh, brave to do a puzzle pickup. Um, but either way, if you're gentle, you can kind of move sections around for the most part. It's a little bit hit and miss, but 
yeah so but like i said it is it is a bit on the looser side so yeah um but what else uh the surface is lovely and smooth no sheen or glare issues and there's a smidgen of puzzle dust like a little bit but it's not at all excessive and it didn't bother me at all but there is one little con with this particular puzzle and that is that for some reason the pieces aren't sitting completely flat so some of them are sort of just like wanting to pop up on one side and then if you go to push them down sometimes another piece nearby will like pop up it's a bit like whack-a-mole so I keep wanting to just play with them <laughs> but I can never get them all to completely sit flat so I mean it doesn't bother me too much. I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's more of a problem if, you know, you are wanting this to be completely flat, like for taking a photo or maybe even if you want to frame it or something, it could be a bit of an issue. But for me, like, you know, I still have a beautiful puzzle. It looks gorgeous. I mean, I don't frame my puzzle, so I'm just going to pull this apart later anyway. Um, but it doesn't seem to affect like how the pieces go together or the overall sort of look and feel um, but yeah I guess just something to be aware of I'm not exactly sure why that is I've definitely seen it happen in other brands as well um, like I had it happen in a Gibson's puzzle recently and the pieces in that are very different to this but it still sort of happens so don't know what causes it not really sure C couldn't say whether it's a one-off with this particular puzzle or if it's in all of the 500 pieces I don't know um, but yeah I guess just something that could possibly occur if you got this puzzle, I don't know. Um, but yeah, like I said, still overall a very enjoyable and very positive and fun puzzling experience. So I'm just gonna give you my final thoughts on the puzzles and the brand. I really enjoyed the two that I did. I think they turned out beautifully. They're just, the colors are stunning and the designs are just beautiful. And yeah, I think if you're like me and you like rainbows and bright colors and gradients and things like that, you're gonna love the Mindy Fizz brand. They definitely, uh, my vibe that's for sure and the quality was excellent as well I just really loved it the pieces feel beautiful there weren't any false fits I love how smooth the pieces are but they're still matte not too much puzzle dust yeah really love it I mean of course there was the little issue with the pieces not sitting flat in the 500 piece puzzle again I don't know if that's a one-off thing or if that's in all of the 500 pieces but even still I think overall it was very positive fun and yeah really enjoyable puzzling experience so I'm definitely looking forward to doing the prismatic scales puzzle. I think it's, yeah, it's definitely calling to me. It's very, looks really pretty and I'm like sort of itching to do it. Um, but I do want to just say one thing about it that was something that Kelly had told me. So uh, the Gilded Berries puzzle is from the sort of new release of puzzles, whereas the prismatic scales one is a little bit older. And so Kelly had mentioned to me that actually the pieces in this one are a little bit thinner than the new release 1000 piece ones. And so yeah, I did open it up and have a look for myself. And um, yeah, I can, can confirm that is the case. Um, everything else though is exactly the same. So the same beautiful smooth but matte surface and nice gray board. And yeah, they feel and pretty much look exactly the same except these feel a little bit thinner than these, but when I say thinner, I don't mean thin. So when you, if you just had only ever tried these and you'd never, you'd never met Gilded Berries before, you'd be like, these are beautiful, like medium to thick, really nice uh, feeling pieces. Like, yeah, they feel really high quality. Um, they feel, they don't, they feel very sturdy. They don't feel thin at all. So not thin, definitely at least medium to thick um, thickness. Um, but then, of course, when you compare it to the Gilded Berries pieces, these feel like super chunky in comparison. So, yeah, they're both beautiful. It's just um, these are just slightly thinner or these are slightly chunkier, whichever way you want to think about it. So, yeah. Um, so I just thought I'd let you know that uh, just in case you, you decided to buy these and were a bit confused about why they're different. So, yeah, just thought I'd let you know. Um, but apart from that, I don't think I have much else to add. Um, I guess I'll just mention what the price is. I'm not going to tell you whether I recommend them for the price because uh, these were gifted to me, but also because here in Australia, like the price of these on Amazon fluctuates all over the place. It's really hard to give an accurate idea. So I'll just let you know what the price is from uh, the Minty Fizz Puzzles website. And so the 1000 piece ones are 30 US dollars and the 500 piece one was 22 US dollars, I believe. So I'll pop that on the screen. Um, but yeah, of course, it's going to vary depending on what country you're in and stuff like that. Um, but I guess the question is, 
Overall, would I recommend the Minty Fizz Puzzles brand? And I would say yes, absolutely. I really love these. I would definitely get more. Um, I just love all her designs. I think they're just beautiful. I love that she creates this artwork herself um, and that she's like managed to just create not only beautiful looking puzzles, but really nice quality puzzles as well. I just, yeah, I think the whole brand is really great. Love that it's sort of like woman owned and it's a small business and yeah, just love everything about it. So yes, yeah, super happy and thankful that I got to try this brand and yeah, excited to do more from them and definitely recommend them. In the comments below, let me know what you thought of these puzzles. Have you tried the Minty Fizz brand? And if you have, what did you think? And if you haven't, are they on your wish list? And do you have like a favorite design that you'd like to try? If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.